Big problem. Huge problem. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I can kiss my ass goodbye. There is a Carquino, a Jellyfish, a Baryonyx. Every single thing that could have gone wrong just went wrong. What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Aberration. Uh, that's right, you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. Link is down there in the description. So, guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy freaking Thursday. That's right, everybody. Only one more day, and we'll be at Friday. And then New Year's is this weekend, isn't it? Oh, snap. So, I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and all that good stuff. And uh, I know it's a couple days past it, but, you know, it's never, never too late to wish people a happy Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways... What did we do in the last episode, guys? Well, in the last episode, we decided to try our luck at going down into the Rock Drake Trench and getting ourselves an egg. And uh, clearly, we failed. <laughs> we very much so failed at the expense of one of our male Ravagers and Squishy. May Squishy rest in peace. We gotta get ourselves another Squishy. <laughs> but, um... I, I noticed something when I came back. Hello there, Mr. Alpha Carquino. I'm gonna need you to not be right there. I noticed something when we came back, once I came back to the house and stuff. Um, we no longer have mate boost on our freaking Ravagers because I accidentally killed both of the males that we had. So, kind of unfortunate, but Sekhmet has started glowing green. Now, I don't know if that's because we're in the luminous marshlands and things are, like, super bioluminescent and stuff like that, but you can kind of see there's a hint of orange in there at times. So I don't know if it's a, a, a texture glitch or, like, a visual glitch or something like that, but regardless, we still have these two, and they're pretty they're pretty good, you know? This one's almost up to 800, uh, oh, 800 melee damage, and then Sekhmet is at 798.3% melee damage, which I think that changed. That's interesting. I think the... That's really interesting. I think the Ravagers went through a nerf, if I'm not mistaken. In this last update, I think they went through a nerf, which is fine by me, because the damn, the damn Ravager could literally kill Rock Drakes. <laughs> it's crazy how powerful that thing was. But okie dokie. So what are we doing in... Oh god, I forgot the wingsuit isn't equipped. Catch yourself! God dang it, dude. I gotta stop doing that. So what are we doing in... You've got to be shitting me. What are we doing in today's episode? Well, we are going to finish construction on our bedroom part of our building. So I want to get the bedroom up. I kind of want to get into the greenhouse glass if it's possible. It's just, I don't know how much crystal we're going to be able to make, you know? Or get, I should say. But... That's kind of one of the things that I want to do today, guys. I do want to... I want to get the dinos over here because I want to start living over here and, like, tear down our starter house and stuff like that. That way we can actually begin to, like, play the game over here, you know what I'm saying? So what I've, what I've done off camera is I've built the walls up four tall at the backside. Let's see, is that four? One, two, three... No, it's three walls tall. That's interesting. Okay. So it's three walls tall going back towards the rock wall. And what I have planned for these slants is I'm going to do a slant across each and every single one of these. And it'll it'll be really, really cool. And the the, the ceilings will be kind of tiered a little bit, you know? It'll look, it'll look pretty interesting once it's all built. Um, but that's something that we need to do today. So the roof I'm going to end up building out of stone. It's just something I always do, you know? I always like to build the roofs out of stone. That way there's a nice contrast between the wood and the stone, and all of that stuff. And then, once we get the greenhouse glass in there, then there's really going to be a nice contrast and a nice amount of pop. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's throw these extra walls and ceilings onto this Ravager. So, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys in on um, a little something. Uh, since most of you know that I have been stockpiling videos and stuff like that, there have been name suggestions for um, animals, but... Probably what I'm going to end up doing is after I get back from my vacation that starts on the 26th, or started on the 26th, then we will go ahead and name all the dinosaurs in one episode. That way I'm not trying to play catch up with all the, uh, um, all of the dinos and stuff like that in every episode. So I hope you guys can understand that, um, and that's kind of what we're going to go ahead and do. But let's see, I need to get some stone. These are metal rocks, but we can still get stone from them. Goodness gracious, this earthquake is a shaking. god dang! Let's go ahead and just grab some of this good stone right there. Okay, good, good, good. Now, let's see. How much stuff can we make? None. What am I missing? Wood. Oh, of course. I forgot. You need freaking wood. 
as well as all that stuff. Let's see, let's go ahead and get Sekhmet on follow. I had to bring... What is that? Oh, it's a rare mushroom. I had to bring Helga over here, our roll rat. I had to use the saddle. I had to use the damn saddle's durability. So we we used, I think, about a quarter. A quarter of the durability coming over here to the Luminous Marshlands. But she'll be fine, you know? What is attacking me? Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? Freaking kill him, Sekhmet. Oh, Jesus. What is... Why is not? Why is Sekhmet not attacking? Oh, she does, like, no damage now. Oh wait, no, never mind, that was something else. Okay, there we go, that must have been me. Oh my god, there are so many nameless. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm very afraid now. Okay, also there's no sounds some, for some reason. I don't exactly know what's going on with that, but... Oh shit, what is going on? Okay, 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 um... Uh, we need to drop this metal, and we need to go. We just need to run. We just need to run, because that is a lot of Nameless. Holy shit! Okay, we need to get her back up onto the platform and get away from these Nameless, because I am not, I am not having a damn Reaper pop out at me. Ain't no way in hell that's happening. Oh my god, there's like ten of them chasing me. Holy shit. Okay, we got the stone. That's all I needed. I just need the wood now. But, dude, we need to get a freaking bulb dog or a shine horn or something like that to freaking ward off these damn nameless because that is not going to fly with me. That is not going to fly with me. Okay, so let me go ahead and continue my construction on my house. Speak of the devil, there's a shine horn right here. I'm curious. Auric mushrooms... Agravaic mushrooms. I'm curious. I heard someone say, or I've seen in the comments say, that you can tame these with mushrooms and not just the plant species Z seed. So let's see. Put taming food in last slot. Okay, so it's not that. It's not that mushroom. It might be one of these mushrooms, because the bulb dog gets tamed with uh, aquatic mushrooms. Aha! Oh my gosh, we got ourselves a freaking shine horn. Look at how cute this thing is. <laughs> It's hiding in my hair. Hang on, wait. Show hat. There we go. <laughs> Look at his little face. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's see. What level was that thing? Because I think it just said it was a 120. <laughs> yep, it was a 120. Holy shit. And it was a female. So we're working with 668.8 health. Charge capacity of 926. Charge regen of 576. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give her these mushrooms. The aggravaic mushrooms. Charge emission range, movement speed, that's pretty dang good. So we're gonna need a name for this cutie. Look at this little buddy! Look at how cute she is. Look at that little face. Oh my goodness. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna continue with the construction. Hopefully I can get this stuff done without the nameless popping out again. And then I'll bring you guys back in once we have a big update. Big problem. Huge problem. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I can kiss my ass goodbye. There is a Carquino, a Jellyfish, a Baryonyx, Every single thing that could have gone wrong just went wrong. And Sekhmet is right down there in the middle of it all. Sekhmet, you okay there, sweetheart? You okay? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I can't win! I can't win! Oh, Jesus. Oh, I hope Sekhmet finds me. Come on, sweetheart. I still have my shine horn. I still have my shine horn. Okay, we'll just stay here. Wait for Sekhmet to come and find me. Oh my god, there's freaking Nameless and snakes and all this shit beneath me. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> they just freaking broke all of my damn armor. All of my freaking hazmat suit. So now I'm going to have to make another freaking hazmat suit. Ugh. All right, let's see. Where's my wingsuit at? Uh, It's on this one. Okay. Let's just go ahead. Okay, here comes. Here comes Sekhmet. She's fine. Okay, Sekhmet. You alright there, sweetheart? Okay, here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna... Hopefully this works. Holy Jesus, I hope this freaking works. Okay, we're gonna climb up to the top of this thing. And then... no, oh, jeez! No! Oh! Oh, it's back! Oh, we're so done! Oh my god! I don't know why my wingsuit didn't have, like, a, like... I don't even know what the hell just happened, but you know what I just remembered? We don't even have a bedroll down over there. Son of a bitch, dude. I knew I forgot something. So I'm gonna have to run all the way over there on the Iguanodon and hope to God it doesn't die. I hope my Shinehorn doesn't die because I want that thing to stay alive. <laughs> oh my God. Son of a bitch, that thing. I, I freaking... Okay, so here's the, the chain of events that just happened, okay? So I was getting ready to climb up onto the, the house. I was using the zip line that's attached to the front door, just like I normally do, you know. And uh, then 
I guess the Ravager, when I jumped off of the line, it jumped like super high and I fell down below, got stuck in the water, then the Carquinos grabbed me off of the Ravager, and then the freaking Baryonyx decided to uh, swarm and freaking stun all of us, and then the Jellyfish decided to stun me, and then the Nameless decided to come out. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty shitty. Oh my god, I hope Sekhmet is still alive, and I hope she's okay. Um, we still have one more Ravager left if Sekhmet dies. <laughs> uh, and she's in the tree, or she's on the cliff platform, so hopefully she's okay. Helga is over there, but now all the dinosaurs are gonna be over here, so there's really not any reason to come back over here, except to grab all my shit. So, kind of unfortunate that this had to happen this way. And you know what else is unfortunate? It's almost nighttime, and I have to run all the way to the damn Luminous Marshlands at nighttime. Just freaking wonderful, dude. Okay, so let's see if I can, one, finish the damn construction, uh, and two, get a hold of the local fauna. Okay, so what was I just saying about the local fauna? Jesus Christ! Nope, the Iguanodon is gonna die. Oh, I'm freaking grabbed by the crab! You son of a- Oh my god. Okay, so the Iguanodon is totally gonna die. The Iguanodon is totally gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, now wait a second. I think I might be able to spawn by my house or something. Let's see. Respawn right there. Hopefully we can get back to the damn Iguanodon or something. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully they don't spawn by anything too crazy. Let's see, where are we in relation to the Luminous Marshlands? Where are we at? Because I've, I've just, I've, blah, 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 I've explored this area before. I think all I have to do is follow this river. I think, I hope. Oh my god, this has been a freaking nightmare, dude. I have died twice now. Oh, there's another Alpha Carquinos. Isn't that just wonderful? Isn't that just freaking ducky? And it's nighttime, and I don't know what to do, and I'm frick I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die for a third time. I can pretty much guarantee it. It's almost inevitable at this point. So, as I, as I was walking through the Luminous Marshlands on the back of my Iguanodon, a freaking Rock Drake decided to swarm me and swoop down and basically just scare the shit out of me. I heard the, the wings or the, the glider uh, effect, the sound that comes from them. Heard it coming towards me and I was like, you gotta be shitting me. And then I got stuck on a rock trying to get away from that Rock Drake and then the Sarko pinned me and then the damn Alpha Carquinos just, wa just walked in and wiped me. Oh my god. Now let's see, where's the entrance to the Luminous Marshlands? Because I don't think I'm going the right way. Of course I'm not going the right way. Of course! Why would I go the right way? You know? It's not like I need to get back and see my dinosaurs and see that they're okay and everything. Okay, so once again, let me see if I can actually finish the construction and get back to the base and keep a, uh, keep a control on the fauna. Okie dokie, you guys. So, Sekhmet is still alive, my Shinehorn is still alive, I'm still alive after dying three times, but the Iguanodon is no longer. Um, so as you can see, Sekhmet is hurting. She's hurting bad. She's down to 3,400 health, and uh, that's because when I found her, she was wedged beat. What is going on up there? Okay, I just saw numbers. I think Helga just killed something. Okay, good. Good girl, Helga. Um, so when I found Sekhmet, she was wedged between the a rock drake, or not a rock drake, she was wedged between like a million freaking nameless, and uh, there were Sarkos, there was all sorts of bullshit over there, dude. Like, not even kidding. There was so much stuff over there trying to kill her. It's not even funny. When I found her, she had 112 health. 112 health out of 10,000. That's where she was sitting. So, needless to say, it was uh, quite traumatic, and, uh, oh my god, it's just ridiculous. Now, the sad part about the Iguanodon is I found it just as it died, but the freaking Rock Drake that killed it, guys, was only a level 20. Imagine if that level 190 decided to pay us a visit. Like, that's freaking ridiculous. The fact that a level 20 could take out that damn uh, Iguanodon is just asinine and crazy to me. Granted, the freaking thing had the help of- oh, it was a Titanoboa. The, uh, the Rock Drake had the help of a, um, Alpha Carquinos, so that's probably one reason why the damn thing died so damn quickly, but let's see. Let's go ahead and jump on this zipline together, and we should be able to finish the roof together 
right now. So as you can see, the building just looks so freaking cool. But I think what I'm going to end up doing, guys, is I think I'm going to tear down this platform right here and uh, make it in a different place. Now, I know what you're saying. It costs a shitload of materials, so why are you going to tear it down? Well, honestly, I don't like its positioning whatsoever. I do like the, the zip lines between the two, but I want to do that in a different area. That way, it looks uniform. Things look better than they do now. And uh, we need to have some way to get over to the house, both on this side and on the other side. So that's kind of something that we need to get done um, and do that sorts of stuff. But let's see. Let's go ahead and eat some of this food real quick. It is indeed raw meat, but that's quite all right. So let's see. We'll go ahead and put this roof up. I don't know if I made enough ceilings, which indeed I did not. But we can start to see how exactly it's going to kind of meld together. And I think that's going to look super freaking nice. I like the stone ceilings. It's going to look nice. Now there's one other thing that I wanted to do on the outside right there. So let's see, right at the entrance, I kind of want to... Let's see, I need to be careful. Let's go ahead and jump up there. There we go. What I kind of want to do is this. Let's see, do I have any more? I do. Let's go ahead and do that right there. And then that right there. That right there. And then that right there. That's going to look cool. I like the way that looks. And then what I could do is I could pull a stone ceiling over this way. And then a wooden wall. And put it in between there. And here. Let's see. Can I place one? Right there. And then put a ceiling on top of it. That way it's one singular kind of structure. And that looks super freaking nice. I like the way that looks. I definitely like the way that looks. But okay. Let me go ahead and finish up the roof. And then when we come back in, I believe we will end off today's episode. Okie dokie. So the roof is finally, finally on the damn house. Oh my god. After so much death, it's finally, finally freaking done. Oh my god. So I like the way this building is starting to look. I gotta say, I'm really kind of digging the way it's looking with kind of the tiered walls and stuff like that. Certainly looks super freaking cool. Now... I think come next episode, we need to do a little bit of uh, TLC to not not the house, but to ourselves. We need to make sure that we have our armors repaired. We need to make sure we have a lot of freaking climbing picks. We need to make sure our weapons are repaired, all that stuff. Oh my god, dude, it is, it is bad. We have like nothing left. I have no climbing picks left. These ones are basically broken. It's nuts, dude. We need to repair everything. I can't even get up to my own damn house because, one, the Ravager will just slip off of the freaking rock too. My freaking zipline thing, the motor is, uh, it's out of gas. And uh, three, I have no more climbing picks, so I can't climb up there. So we're going to need to figure out an alternative, and I think I know what it'll be. But, guys, that'll all be for the next episode. But holy freaking Jesus, dude, it's going to be crazy. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.